What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, the Sneaker Knocker. The one and only judge of all kicks in the power on YouTube. And you can refer to me as the Sneaker Judge. Bringing you today my top picks of 2018 sneaker releases. And before we get into the list, I would like to add a note that in the comments after this video, you all can place your your guesses on which sneakers you think I have in my collection. And this is a list that I had to narrow down because my list was too long. It consisted of 27 and I narrowed it down to 12. So we're going to start you off with the first pair that released in January of 17. You have your Levi Air Jordan collab of the fours with the blue denim colorway. And I believe that colorway was so exclusive. It is so sick. That StockX has is overpriced, and all of the people who have those as dead stocks, they're not lowering their prices. They feel that though that sneaker is worth a lot of money, way more than it retail for. And I'm just a person that is not gonna pay that much for a sneaker, not until I increase my financial stability. But for right now, that's just gonna be a sneaker that I hope to have in the future. But that sneaker is number one because it was released in January and I'm going by order. So now you have your second pair that dropped February 17th. You have the OG Black Cement 2008 Air Jordan 3s. Now I'm not a fan of 3s, but being that these are OG replicas of the Black Cement that dropped in 2018 this year. In February, I have to add them to the list for all of the people who are real sneaker heads, sneaker collectors, sneaker enthusiasts, hype beasts, whatever. I have to add this in here for y'all, although I'm not a fan of threes. I feel like that colorway is OG, is original, and pretty much you can wear it with pretty much anything, but not everything. And the colorway is black. You have your cement, you have your hint of gray and your red. And I feel like if you know how to dress, you'll be able to pull it off. But if you don't, just stay away from them because it's not for everybody. You have your third on the list is the Nike Air Max ones with the 97 mixture. And these were created by Sean Weatherspoon. I don't really know who he is, but he was given the opportunity to design his own sneaker. And I feel as though he did a fine job. He had every celebrity you can name, copping and supporting his, his sneaker. And the best person that I've seen to dress these sneakers up with is Fat Joe, who slimmed down. So he need to change his name because he's no longer fat. But yeah, your boy Fat Joe, he wore it the best as I've as I seen a picture of him or Full Size Run. Where they was doing the drift flip or skip, which is something that they... they bit off me and I wasn't able to put that out there before they did but you know I'm gonna come up with my no stylist or stylist concept and we're gonna see how that goes but that's the number three the Sean Weatherspoons to me the colorway is sick I like the hint of the corduroy the yellow the colors of the mixture of the colors that he used I think he used a hint of pink and some other colors but the whole color scheme is what I like to see on a sneaker because is original is is different than your normal typical colors that you will see and it gives people the challenge of where the sense of fashion is at and see how they could color coordinate an outfit and not be so typical to match it all the way down like a can of paint and go simply with the color that they feel sticks out the most or stands out the most i like to do a mixture of all the colors and you know just have a variety and be versatile and don't just be so typical when it comes to dressing. And the number fourth joint on the list is you have your Nike Air Foam Posits 1. The Rush Pink joints. Now when I seen these, I first thought they was only for females. But when I realized that they wasn't for females, I had to like check that off on the list. I don't know if I have them. Well, you guys don't know if I have them. You'll have to wait and see. But... These were something that stood out to me the most as eye candy. I love pink. Shout out to Cameron for making pink so popular with men. Because before he was able to stand out with the pink chinchillas and the Range Rovers, men wasn't really into pink. We was like, nah, that shit is for them 
you know, for them mooks and them, them you know, shout outs to them, but we were saying it was for them. But when he stepped out, and you know Harlem niggas, they flamboyant, they flashy, they got one of the greatest sense of fashions and best taste when it comes to eye candy and what to wear and not to wear. So he was one of the people who made pink pop in. And when I seen the Rush Pink phone posits, because you know I love phone posits, I was just like, yo, these are exclusive. The colorway is sick. I like the, the, the sole that they use. It wasn't a black new sole that they're using they stuck with the um the clear sole bottom and i feel like that was that was a great mixture on fifth on the list you have your nike air max 97 plus shock orange i, I like the color scheme it reminds me of the the air bacons because the air bacons got the red black and yellow and these got the 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 predominantly black with the like yellow and red or similar to red and orange color scheme that makes it look like flames going across the sneaker. I really feel like this sneaker is dope because if you're a person who has this has this sneaker in your collection, when you wear it, you are able to just mix it with the colors of black, orange, red, or yellow. And depending on how you are able to put your outfit together, you can fuck this outfit up because those sneakers just stand out on their own. And they are definitely a head turner, you know. A lot of people will realize and notice that these sneakers are fire because of the collaboration of the colors and the mixtures that they decided to use on the sneaker. I feel like that sneaker is really dope. So if you haven't copped that yet, make sure you go cop it. Make sure you go research it to see what I'm talking about because it's one of the exclusive sneakers that dropped this year. Then we have on our list of the sixth sneaker on our list. Is the off white collaboration with Jordan Air Jordan ones? I'm not a fan of Air Jordan ones, but this powder blue and with the hint of the white and the orange with the off white on the side, I really feel like this sneaker is exclusive. And the person I seen who wore this sneaker the best is the one and only Fabulous Fabuloso. You already know. Brooklyn, New York, nigga, we, we have the best taste of fashion. We have the best sense of fashion. And when it comes to the New York swag, nobody is stopping us. Nobody is touching us. Nobody could fuck with us because New York, we do it the best. From the Thames to the, the Yankee fittest, even Jay-Z at one time had his little fashion sense. And he had this the trend-setting wave of setting trends to where people would jump on his wave with the, the Thames and their... The Yankee fittest, you know, but Fabulous, I seen on his Instagram, he had the best fashion since when it came to rocking these powder blue, off-white, Air Jordan 1's collaboration. The blue, I'm not too big on that color blue. I feel like it stands out too much to where you cannot rock it on a casual, everyday basis. Although, you're not supposed to wear your sneakers every day, but if you want to just be casual... You know, cycle them in every week or so, every two weeks, every month. I feel like it's too much of an out there sneaker to where you only will have to wear it at special events or special occasions because that sneaker is just too exclusive. And when you pop them joints out, when you step out and numb, you would just have to be the life of the party, you know, all eyes on you type shit. But they are not meant for everyday regular wear type of sneaker. So that is the sixth sneaker on the list. The seventh sneaker you have... Is the Air Jordan 12 Michigan. These dropped June 23rd, 2008. And I'm not going to be mentioning the dates of all the sneakers because that's just, too, this, that's just too much for me to remember. I'm trying to be quick with this video, get this out the way. And the Michigans, I love the navy blue with the, the color of the yellow. The reason why these are exclusive because they they originally came out as a player exclusive. They call them P.E. Now, with the player exclusive, they're only meant for certain caliber of people like celebrities and athletes. Now, a lot of people weren't able to get their hands on these because the price skyrocketed on them and they were just too much. And as you can see on Stock X, they are way over $1,000. But if you're a person who don't want to spend way over $1,000 and you still want a similar sneaker to it because it's no different. It's just a similar of the changing of the yellow with the navy blue on the back tag. And it's not too much of a difference. So if you want to be able to have the Michigans. 
the the ones that dropped this year are the best ones to have because they're affordable on stock x they they a little over retail and it's not too high it's not too low you feel me it's definitely not above 300 and i'm definitely not trying to spend too much money on sneakers that are over 300 only a few sneakers i will be willing to pay over 300 if they really worth it and it's not going to be anything that recently dropped because i feel as though is a rip off because if they retail for 190 or 220 or 200 why am i paying 300 plus tax for a sneaker that didn't even retail at that price so it's best to be doing your research to try to figure out when the sneaker is dropping so you can definitely try to get it at a retail price and what i noticed with stock x is when the sneaker is dropping or right before it's dropping you could definitely get it for that reasonable price of the retail price because a lot of people are not going to try to hit you in your head it's when the release already has came and went that people start to up their price on the desktop sneakers that they're trying to resell so that's your number seven joint the number eight joint on the list is the air jordan fives the paris versions of the metallic fives the og joints and i would just go with the paris joints over the og original ones that had the air jordan and the nike air sign on the back because the paris logo that they have on the back it's just way more exclusive. It stands out way more. And I feel as though it's a exclusive sneaker to have in your collection. Rather than being so OG retro with it. And sticking to the original color schemes. And the, the original releases of the original drops that happened in the past. Try something new. Because it's always good to just be different. And not just stick with the typical norms of what they're producing out here in the sneaker culture. What they're promoting in the sneaker culture. I'm a person that likes to be different, so when I see these, I just check these off as something that I must have. I potentially may have it, I potentially may not have it, but you will never know. You will just have to find out. So start getting those guesses ready for me in the comment section when this video is over, and maybe you'll find out when I reveal my collection because I'm not revealing my collection in a rush because I would like to just produce content that is well thought out with great material because I'm still creating new avenues of ideas to put on my, my channel and get everybody in tune with who I am as a person who is a sneaker enthusiast. I'm not a sneaker collector. I'm not a hype beast collector. I'm just a person who likes what I like. And when I feel like it's a sneaker that I must have, I hit the, I hit the green light on it and it's always a goal and may have it, may not have it, but you will never know until... You keep watching these channel, these videos that I'm be dropping, and subscribe to my channel, and hit a like or dislike whether you like the content that I'll be putting forth and I'm producing. Now, what number was that? Now that was number eight. Now you have your number nine on the list. Number nine on the list is the Air Jordan Seven Lows, the Bright Concord, the NRG that recently just released, and in my video that I recently posted. I revealed that I have that in my collection. So you already know that that's in my collection. So if you're going to comment and try to guess whatever sneakers you think from this list are in my collection, please do not add that one because you will be immediately disqualified from whatever I'm thinking about offering you for those who can get all of the sneakers that they may think I have in my collection. Correct? And those joints are crack, as I've said. Those are crack smoking crack. The color scheme to those are so different that it will only take a person who has a high sense of fashion and a high taste and knowing what is eye candy and what turn heads and what is this different to be able to go and cop those because the feedback on those were not too good because people didn't like the fact that they were seven lows instead of the original seven high tops. And when I seen those, I didn't care about them being lows. I just knew that when I get these, I'm going to fuck these shits up because I already know what I'm doing with color schemes. And I like different things, like different colors on sneakers because it goes well with matching it with a, a outfit. Because you don't want your outfit to be all the way, always plain. And you also want variety in your wardrobe. So when it's time to step out and, you know, turn heads and have people compliment you on your outfit, you got to have those sneakers that do the job. And I feel like the NRG... Bright Concord 7 Low are something that would do that for a person 
of my my caliber and my taste when it comes to fashion because how you'll go about finding a, a outfit to wear with it it just be you got to have that eye contact you got to know what goes with what and you can't just be all all the way plain and try to match it like a can of paint and just go with the base color of the sneaker you have to incorporate the little colors that they incorporate in the sneaker and your outfit as well so that's number nine on the list number 10 you have your adidas young ones triple purple i have yet to see anybody on youtube do it on feet on knees i have yet to see anybody produce these besides show a picture on the sneaker release apps and the websites i have yet to see anything about these on youtube as far as uh, unboxing or on foot i have yet to see these and i feel like these should have been called the freezers because the ones that they have released recently for freezer them joints are whack to be honest them shits are mad plain i don't see anybody besides a person that's a cornball no disrespect to my man show Gotti, but anybody besides somebody that's a cornball that's so caught up on the, the Dragon Ball Z to buy these exclusive sneakers collaborations that Adidas is doing with Dragon Ball Z because they're not doing it too well. But the triple purple joints, I feel like those should have been called the freezers because they're just all purple and the purple really stands out to where you can mix it up, mix and match it with different color schemes within your wardrobe. And you could really fucking turn heads because that's something that that sneaker looks like it would do. Because it just stands out. It's a nice color purple. The suede on it probably looks, probably is new buck. And you know, it, it's, it's in a good condition, you feel me? That's number 10. Number 11 you have is your Nike Air Foam Posits. The ones that are releasing today. Today is October 26th. So they're releasing, I mean they're releasing tomorrow, October 27th. Saturday, they're the, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I think it's called Habanero Red, Habanero Red, Habanero, Habanero, whatever it's called. They are red and a mixture of orange, so depending on if you're colorblind or not, they may be red, they may be orange, but... I'll just call them just the tomato foam posits because that's what a tomato looks like. It's a mixture of red and orange and with that black sole at the bottom of the sneakers, that's a different... That I like that, but I normally would like the clear sole bottom because it's just original to what the foam posits has already been putting out and producing from past years. And with the new black, I feel as though they just... And implicated the whole protect your soul and I don't really care about protecting my soul because the sneaker is supposed to be worn so if you wear it it's going to get dirty at the bottom so just, just have it all black is okay but if they would have just had it clear it would have been better I think it would have made it pop more the, the whole black just keeps you in a box of you have to incorporate black with that color if you don't want to throw it off that's the that's the thing with these right here, these flight posits. Like these are fucking fucked up. You see, these are, these joints are beat up. And in my last video, I mentioned that I copped these in 2004. I meant to say I copped these in 2014. I didn't have these since 2004. I had these and the ones you see in the back, the Knicks joints since 2014. But when I wear these coppers, cause I love this color copper, but I may not get these again because of the black. You can't fuck this color up. If you have to add the black, but if it was just all copper or a different color added to it, maybe, but not with the black. So sneakers that are predominantly another color but has a a a, a mixture of black that is made predominantly, you can't always wear it with certain outfits because the black just doesn't incorporate well with it. Like I have a shirt that is navy blue and the and the collar is brown and it's similar to copper, but I can't wear navy blue copper and black you feel me it just throws it off so that's what i mean with the color schemes and that i have a great sense of fashion because i know what colors go with what and what outfit i should get to wear with the sneakers you feel me so that's number 11 for your list and last but not least you have the sneakers that is dropping december 22nd right before christmas of this year and these are the air jordan 8 tinker air rays now tinker has been fucking up with their collabs and their color schemes, they have not been producing great colors 
as of lately, but they ended it off with a bang because these Air Jordans, 8 Tinker Air Rays, they remind me of Wakanda, Black Panther, they remind me of the motherland, Africa, and these will definitely be in my collection when they drop because I just have to have them. I never had a pair of 8s before, maybe I did, I had the Bugs Bunny joints, but those were hand-me-downs from my brother because he had a lot of sneakers and he just hand me his shits down, you know, once they shits almost to the last bit of warning, warn you know, I'll just wear them shits out, but I had a pair that I... Didn't personally buy or purchase with my own money, but I had a pair, but now I finally get a chance to own my very first pair of Air Jordan 8s. And a lot of people are not highly into the 8s, which I don't blame them because they don't really come out with that much 8s or co great color schemes. But these ones, these are OD exclusives. They're just like the original Air Rays that dropped. And... They just remind me of Africa, the motherland, with the colors of the green, the orange, the red, the blue. It's just a dope sneaker, and it's predominantly black. So, with that predominantly black and the little hints of the colors, the different colors, you could definitely add a different outfit each and every time you try to dress them joints up, you know. And we're going to end that with your top 12 sneakers of 2018. Let me know if you like the joints on my list. If you dislike it, just let me know and make sure you subscribe. You comment down below on what sneakers you think I have in my collection. Mind you, this is not the full list. I had 27. I had to narrow it down to 12. So I might be dropping another video of what didn't make it to the list. And checking out. Peace.